if you are a new GTA player and just trying to level up to level 100 or even beyond, this is going to be the video for you. And it's actually easier than you think. So the only thing you need for this is you actually need to own a CEO. Most of you who have bought the game recently have the Criminal Starter Pack because it's probably one of the cheapest thing out there. And so for this, if you go to your phone, go over to internet, click on money and services, go down to Dynasty 8 Real Estate, click on Dynasty Executive, and then what you notice is all of these different buildings. So you should notice this little icon here. So basically, if you just got the game, you can get the Maze Bank Quest for absolutely free. But for this one, I'm going to be using the one I currently have owned. Once you have your CEO bought, you want to go ahead, open up your interaction menu, and what you want to do is register as a secure servant CEO. From here, just go over to there, and then you want to go over to VIP work. And if you go down, you do have a couple different options to choose from. The one we're going to be doing is called Headhunter. So for this, we have to assessing our targets before the time runs out. So we're going to do that now. I highly recommend using an oppressor MK2, but if you guys don't have that, then you can just drive to them and kill them as easily as that. And there we go. So we got our last person finally destroyed. We made ourselves 4,200 RP for something that was really easy to do, as well as $41,000. If you notice, if you go actually go back to the VIP word, you're actually going to have a 5 minute cooldown for this. What we're going to do in order to still get RP while waiting for the cooldown is we're going to do a specific mission. So for this, what you want to do is press options, go over to one, then you want to go to jobs, press play jobs, and then you want to do Rockstar created, head down and see five missions, and then you want to find the repo at Simonautics. It's actually going to have the image of a cargo plane, so it should be really easy to find. Not only that, but you actually can do this at rank 1, so there is no requirements for doing this. Last thing I recommend doing is set the difficulty to hard mode for the most amount of cash and RP for this. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and give like a quick explanation on this. So what you're doing is actually going to LSIA, you're going to find this massive cargo plane, and inside of it is going to be uh, two vehicles. From here, you want to take the vehicles, deliver it back to Simon's dealership, and then the mission's going to be complete. You're also going to have to lose the cops whenever you first collect it. Best way to do that is hide in a tunnel, an underground railroad, or anything of that sort. Or if you want the money spent, you can actually call Lester and get the one level off. Once the mission is complete, each vehicle that you turn in gives you 200 RP. So from here we got $11,550, which is okay, but it's actually not that good. And we got 2,605 RP. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and go back into a new session. And then from here we should be able to start up the Headhunter mission again. So let's just go back to a new session now. Now, let's see if I can actually go and do the headhunter job. So, open up your interaction menu, go to secure CEO, go to VIP work, and then there we go. We have headhunter ready for us to do again, and that is by far one of the best RP methods that you can do it for any low-level players, or anyone who is just getting started in the game. Now, if you actually don't have the Chroma Starter Pack, which I don't know why you wouldn't because it literally is just as cheap as getting the game, then let me know down in the comments and I might try to make a video for anyone who doesn't even have businesses or anything at all inside the game. So that is it for this. All you have to do is go over, Headhunter, do the repo mission and Headhunter again, and just keep repeating that steps. So the last thing I want to do, is just to clarify how good this RP method is, is I'm actually going to add up all the RP that we made during the Headhunter mission and all the RP we made during the mission and add the total time it took for both and see how much we get for that time limit. So let's go ahead and do that now. Have you ever been broken GTA and just wish you could go from this to that? without spending a bunch of shark cards that go from a $99 just to a million. That could probably get you a couple cars, maybe some buildings and businesses, but nothing to what you need. Luckily, we have OP mods. 
OP Mods is a GTA 5 modded account and services website that's basically really trustworthy. Not only do they actually show their proof of work and have a 5 star rating of Trustpilot, but they're also a lot cheaper than the other GTA 5 competitors. And you can even use code discount legit for a 5% discount on all your purchases. Thank you and back to the video. Okay, I want to hand you all the math for it. So you get 4,200 RP for completing the Headhunter mission. And then for the Simonautics, you get 1,000. And for the Simonautics mission, you get 2,605 RP. And including the 800 you get for turning in the vehicles and collecting them. And that came up with a grand total of 7,605 RP. And looking at the time... This took around 15 minutes to do. Now, I know that doesn't sound as good as if you were to have a business and do like crates and everything. But for anyone who's just starting out the game, that's actually really good. That is all I have for this video. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. If you found it helpful, please feel free to like and subscribe for more GTA 5 content like this. With that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there. And goodbye.